Hi, it's Kelly from Spiritual Awakening Signs coming to you today with your winter solstice card reading. Now this is a very powerful time energetically to get a card reading. It's a fantastic time spiritually because the winter solstice energies are very powerful right now and if you can tap into them, you will have massive healing and growth potential. It really is a fantastic time of year. It only happens once a year, so don't miss it. Now if you have missed the winter solstice, the actual day, which is the 21st of December. Don't worry, you can still access it from around the 1st of December till around the 7th of January, roughly. The energies are still quite potent then. And we've also got more information below on uh, what you need to know about the winter solstice. We can guide you through it, but let's get into the card reading. So I ask you now to intuit and choose card one, two or three. See what card really resonates with you the most. And you can use the timestamps below to scoot along to find your message. Let's get into it right now. So first, what we do is we do a card for all of us who are on the spiritual awakening pathway right now. It lets us know what's going on with the energies. It lets us know kind of what's going on, you know, the shifts globally and how we're being affected as, you know, really a, a collective of light workers. Let's see what we need to know right now. I can feel there's one ready to jump out actually. Let's see. It's a big powerful energy to that. Okay, so here's the card that's coming up for us first. Now this card is all about reflecting. It's about really tuning in and it's also about looking forward. So this card's really telling us that what we need to do is tune into that, the word that's coming forward is mystic, that mystic part of us, that spiritually connected part of us. And it's all about really finding out what it is that you want as you're moving into this new year. Because the winter solstice energies really have a powerful way of clearing out all the dense, heavy energy. And I feel like that's what's been hinted at with the uh, the incense and the smoke in this image. It's about clearing out, cleansing out, getting rid of all the dense, heavy energy and moving into more positive things. And you'll see at the, at the back of the image of this card, there's just that little kind of glimmer of light that you can see outside. And it's about moving into a higher energetic spiritual sphere. It's about really stepping into a higher vibrational way of living. I also feel there's a lot in this card that's about connecting to self. You know, it's not really just about daydreaming for the sake of daydreaming or, or you know, thinking about what it is that you want. It's about connecting more deeply to who you are as a person. It's about identifying who you are as a soul and what you align with in your life. And this is a big call for us to start recognizing where we might be out of alignment and starting to reroute so that we can align with that and start our new year in alignment with all the right energies. It's a time of focus and it's a time of um, higher awareness within yourself. So take a little bit of time to meditate, take some time to journal, to daydream, to do whatever it is you need to do to really connect more deeply with the spiritual aspect of yourself and allow it to guide you forward because that, that guidance is there. Fantastic. Okay. So now I invite you to choose card one, two or three and let's see what message we have for you using these fantastic winter solstice energies. Okay, card number one. Let's see what we've got for you today. What do you need to know right now? What are the winter solstice energies bringing up for you? What are they doing for you? Let's find out. Okay, here we are. Okay, now interestingly, sometimes these cards all tend to kind of merge. So this is very similar to the first card that we got for all of us. So this card is very much about reflection again. It's about taking time to think, taking stock of everything, maybe even doing a little review of where you are in life, where you've come from, um, and really deciding what it is that you want before you step forward. And I feel like this card is a big sign that you need to pause you need to pause before you step forward and just take a little moment to really, I feel like there's not been enough time to assimilate and to accept things that may have happened in your past that may be happening now. There's a lot of changes going on and you really need to be able to accept those changes and acknowledge those changes in order to move forward. But I feel that if you take some time out for you, some time to access peace, some time in the stillness and in the quiet, you're going to find that you really find your way. If you've been feeling lost, if you've been feeling like maybe you've been stuck for quite a while, not really knowing how to move forward. It's the energy of 
things aren't terrible but they're just not great there's that kind of middle energy where it just things don't really shift well I feel like the more that you can take some time to reflect and to connect more with who you really are you're going to find that you work out the way that you're guided that you're led along that pathway to whatever's best for you whatever's next for you because there is more there but it feels like you've been waiting on it for a really long time and this makes me feel that if you just take a little bit of time to connect to self the waiting time is going to be over so big big shifts coming for you but you need to look after yourself this is a card of self-care take some time particularly over the winter solstice to allow whatever it is that needs to be cleared and let go of to be released from your system and the winter solstice energies will certainly do that for you so trust in it okay right let's see card number two if you chose card number two let's see oh okay so this card jumped out straight away let's see two cards coming up very powerful cards first card is shower of abundance so there is abundance coming into your life and I feel while sometimes this card comes up and it can be about abundance in lots of areas this feels more financial because the other card that came up with it is the entrepreneur card so this is very much about being a light worker stepping into your career stepping into your life purpose your life mission it's about leading it's about guiding and what I feel is when you step into that light worker energy and you really help when you really um, support others whatever it is that you're here that you're meant to do um, it feels the energy feels quite like career like business like job there's a lot of stuff coming up here where you can be influential and you can really guide people towards higher vibrational living and that could be in any different area it doesn't have to be spiritual specifically and I feel that coming with that is going to be the shower of abundance there is going to be a lot of positivity pouring in around this possible shift in career job uh, purpose there's something there that you feel that you need to do and you see this card has a lot of fire in it there's a lot of drive there's a lot of motivation within you and within your soul to complete this and I feel that it is very important I also feel like there are people waiting for this you can see the image here there's some little people just waiting there watching the fire being lit so there's there's people there who want the guidance that you can bring and you need to step into that and when you do these two things they work together it's about the more in alignment you are with your life purpose as a light worker uh, and whatever it is that you came here to bring you're going to find the more abundance comes into your life and shower of abundance really is you know a big deal of a card to get it's very much about all things um increasing in a positive way new things moving into your life shifts opportunities you know um, fresh starts and of course finances improving as well so watch out for all the ways those blessings can can come into your life and make sure you're aligning with whatever it is that you're here to do very important time to be aligning with that okay let's see card number three what do we have for you today let's see what do you need to know and what are the winter solstice energies bringing for you? Very powerful time of energy. Can bring a lot of shifts for us, that's for sure. Right, this card's jumped. Oh, okay. Assertiveness is coming up. So there's a few different energies I'm getting with this card. It's not just about speaking up. It's not just about speaking your truth, but those are key points. I feel like this is a card that is encouraging you as a light worker in whatever form that is because it doesn't have to be a spiritual career as such but as a light worker whatever it is that you're here to do what you're meant to do it's about leading others by positive example it's about being that inspiration to others by preaching what you teach you know really being that force for good um, I feel like it's very much about clear communication so not necessarily assertiveness in you know in a negative way it's assertiveness in a positive way it's speaking the truth it is clear energy it is um, open communication it is uh, being understood and also I feel very much about being able to help others and it's it's about the more you step into who you are the more you align with who you are on the soul level the more you're going to find that there are people who use you as a guide and maybe even as a role model spiritually and energetically 
and it's going to be easy for them to learn how to do some things that maybe they found a little bit difficult before but you're going to be an example for that so this brings with it a lot of fresh energy I feel that there are a lot of shifts there's a lot of positivity it's all ready it's all waiting for you and it's going to be moving into your space so get ready for it I also feel like there's some fresh starts here there might be a sense of looking at who you are and how far you've come and deciding there are certain things that you maybe don't want to embody anymore certain certain aspects of your personality or behavioral patterns that have been picked up and it's kind of like when we get into new year and we decide to have a new year's resolution we said you know i'm not going to do those unhealthy things anymore it feels like you're doing that a little bit early with these winter solstice energies which is fantastic and it feels like there is a lot of strength and motivation for you to move forward so whatever it is you're aiming to do, whatever it is you're being called to do, I feel like there's fresh new energy going to be ushered in to really help you to step into it more fully. It's going to be a breeze to step into it because all the support is there, all the guidance is there and the motivation is there. You're definitely, um, you're going to find it easy to step into this, this is the energy that I'm getting. And also it's a little message not to hide you want to stand out, you want to be seen for who you are, it's safe for you to be who you are and I feel like there's a kind of stepping out, maybe stopping hiding certain aspects of who you are and just deciding to embrace them and move forward, you know, there might be certain aspects of your spiritual gifts or abilities maybe you haven't wanted others to know about or something similar and it's about really saying, you know, this is, this is who I am and this is the, these are the gifts that I have and some of the things that I can share stepping forward and sharing those and finding that people really gain benefit from that very very powerful as a light worker and as part of your mission so step forward with compassion and light and really take that energy forward because things are just about to shift for you it's going to be a big shift the winter solstice energy they're really working hard um, and they're going to be making really positive shifts in your life well lots of fantastic uh, guidance there from the winter solstice energies now if you're interested we actually have a free master class that will share everything you need to know about the winter solstice if you want to learn more you can check it out below and uh, i'm sending you winter solstice blessings use this time to really gain the healing benefits that the winter solstice can bring and have a fantastic day